TBTL. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Hey Dummies. My name is Andrew and I will be your dummy today. I don't know if you saw this little note that I put in last week's TBTL newsletter, but I mentioned that I was really excited to record this week's Hey Dummies video because I knew it was a question about darts and I love darts. You know, I mean, if you listen to TBTL or um, if you listen to me in real life, there's one thing I talk about these days, and it's me playing darts in the basement. It's a hobby I picked up maybe a year or two ago, and I love doing it. I had to take a little break this summer for health reasons. No, I did not get a, I did not get a, a dart stuck in me anywhere. Unrelated health reasons kept me from my passion of playing darts. But I'm back at it again, baby, and I'm happy to be back at it. And Russell knows that I'm back at it, and he wrote in. This is Russell in Kennewick, Washington, and he wrote in with a bunch of questions about dart maintenance. Now, this speaks to me. So not about how I play darts or about the, the sport of darts, but about maintaining my darts and my dartboard. And I will tell you, I am... It is actually, I think, maybe a bad sign how excited I am about this question, this series of questions, I should say, because I, I just, I'll tell you what, you are watching this on YouTube. You can look down right now and you can see how long I go on and on and on about this topic. I don't know. I'm still in the beginning phases of this video right now, but I'm worried that I will go on for too long. I'm going to try to keep it under 90 minutes. That seems like a good, like, feature length film length. So we'll do that. And I also do want to remind you, um, if you have any questions for me or Luke, and it doesn't have to be dart related, it can be about anything, email me, put Hey Dummies in the subject line and send it to this address, andrew at tbtl.net. That's how you play the game. Um, now let's talk about the game of darts here, or at least how to maintain one's darts. Russell and Kenwick says, what is your dart maintenance regimen? The points get dulled over time. Do you sharpen them with a whetstone? Um, I'm going to take one question. Russell has a bunch of questions here. I'm going to take them one at a time, okay? So, Russell, yes, I have a little, I mean, I think this is technically a whetstone, but it's specifically made for darts. I don't know if you can see this. It's hanging off of like a key ring here, and it's a little barrel-shaped piece of plastic with whetstone in the middle in a, a kind of cylindrical format there. And you take your dart. I'm going to take this dart right here. This is one of my nicer darts, by the way. More on the kind of difference in darts in a little bit. You know what? Maybe we'll try to keep this to two and a half hours. But um, this is one of my nicer sets of darts here. And these were a gift, by the way, from folks who listen to the show. Adrian and Julie, shout out to you for this gift that you brought to me to the 4,000th episode. We've uh, swapped out the flights and the stems over time, but these, uh, I don't even know what you call the, the main part of the darts. Maybe this is just the dart, but the metal part, that's the, uh, that's the really nice part there. Um, for comparison, here's a really nice looking pair of darts or set of darts, but they're the kind of cheap kind that you just get at the um at the sporting goods store they're they're much lighter and you'll notice the stems up here are plastic um all right so let's let's go here i have too much to get to i'm already i'm already behind schedule um how do i sharpen my darts you take this thing and you take the dart and i'll do it in front of the microphone so you can hear it and you just sort of rub the dart kind of circulate it around the inside can you hear that sort of circulate it on the inside. I hope that, oh, that's probably upsetting to some people. I love the sound, but uh, maybe you don't, so I'll stop doing it. But you sort of circulate the dart on the inside of the stone, and it gets nice and sharp. And, um, you know, I bought this thing at a local dart shop, I think up in Edmonds. I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, but up up there in the Arby's district, as, as I like to call it. Um, and uh, and uh, I didn't exactly know how to use it or if I was using it correctly. And so I looked it up online and I you know saw a short video from a professional dart player um, who said, yeah, that's basically what you do. I mean, it's, it's, it's as easy as it looks. You rub the dart on the inside. Um, but he said something very fascinating, which has really stuck with me. Um, because you know me, I, I, I will overdo something like sharpening darts, right? It's a kind of a therapeutic thing to do. You keep doing it. And then having a really nice sharp dart just like sink into the board, into the dartboard, and then you go to pull it out and you can just tell it was solidly in there. That's such a good feeling. But this professional dart player said, don't over sharpen your darts. And you're like, professional dart player, how can you sharpen a dart too much? And he says, this, this is why. Actually, let me give you a quick background on a dartboard. <laughs> 
if you can picture a dartboard, you got like what the 20 on the top and you know, the numbers are out of order, but it's like 20, one, 12, whatever. And then you got the bullseye in the middle and each of those sections are kind of cordoned off, but on a real dartboard, it isn't just like lines drawn on the board. It's actually little pieces of metal that are sort of embedded in the board. Like they're lines that separate out all the numbers and then a little round circle for the bullseye and then another little round circle inside of that for the double bullseye and all of that is metal and so if you throw your dart and it hits that piece of metal which as you get better at darts is more and more likely because you're going for the bullseye and there's a lot of metal around that bullseye right and if you're going for the bullseye it's not unlikely or i guess i could say it is like <laughs> it's not not likely unlikely no it, it it is common for the dart to hit that metal and potentially just shoot right back out of the board a little burp, um and and you lose your shot and this guy said if your darts are super super sharp it's more likely that if it hits that metal it's going to bounce back as opposed to if a dart is just slightly rounded and a little bit non-sharp there's a better chance the dart might hit that metal and just slide to the left or the right and I can't tell you how many times I've been throwing for something on the dartboard and you're you're off by the tiniest of bits and you know it hit the metal and it either went to the right or to the left. And uh, depending on what you're going for, that could be good or bad. So I always think about that, like don't over sharpen it, because if you hit the metal, it's more likely to bounce back out than just sort of like on a rounded tip dart, just sort of like just sort of nudge itself over. But again, I think we're just talking about. My level of dart playing is not that um, precise that it probably applies to me so much as the professional. So, okay. Whoo, how far into this are we? Does that say eight minutes and it's only question number one? The points get dulled over time. Do you sharpen them? I do. What about the flight? They get beat up over time. How often do you replace them? This is the flight, right? The little... Uh the papery plasticky thing on top. Um, it really depends. Honestly, this is again, one of those things where the better you get at darts, probably the more like the, the more um, frequently you're going to change out the flights, because what will happen is when you're really trying to zone in on a specific number, your grouping will get better. So if you're going for 20s or bullseyes, there's a better chance, the better you are at darts, that all three darts are going to land near each other and potentially hit each other. And that happens all the time. When you're grouping your darts together, you hit the flights and the flights get all jacked up. I don't have any examples of some real jacked up flights here, but they're easy to replace. You just pop them off like that. And then um, you got to kind of like string them back into the dart. My, my camera isn't focusing uh, perfectly, but they're pretty easy uh, once you get used to it to just sort of thread right back on there like that. So a long time ago, I bought, I think a pack of like 200 flights or 150 flights. I'm down to these now, but the, I had like two plastic containers that were three or four deep. Um, and I'm left with these designs that I'm sort of less excited about than the ones I've probably already used, but some of them are okay looking in there. Um, and so I'll burn through, you know, maybe if I, if I'm playing darts every single night of the week, which, you know, is maybe somewhat excessive but not unprecedented. I might I might go a week with a with a flight before changing it out. That's probably the lower end. You can, somewhere between a week and a month I'm changing out the flights and uh it's also fun. I mean let, let's just face it like buying a whole pack of these again. Some of these I just have no interest in their particular design, which is why they're the only ones left over, but um some of them aren't too bad. But uh when you have a whole bunch of these it can be really fun to switch out the darts. I love even though these are not my nice darts, I love the looks of these. I mean it looks like a picnic, right? Um and so the, that is your answer on the flights. What about, um, oh, it says here, do you clean your darts regularly? No, I don't know how to clean darts. I don't know if you're supposed to clean darts. Uh, if you have any information on cleaning darts, let me know. Obviously, that would be up my alley. Um, you know, it doesn't, so Russell didn't ask about the stems, and I think they're called stems, but I'll talk about that as well. If this part up here is the flight, this part down here is the stem, this this metal thing. And um, in fact, I just had to swap these out last night. Here's what a stem looks like when it's not attached to the rest of the dart. And these things have to be replaced sometimes because the 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 ends of them get messed up. This is the part of the dart, uh, or this is the end of the stem that you would put the 
that you would put the flight into. I'm having trouble doing it right now. But sometimes a dart will literally fly into another dart and sort of ruin the tines and bend them out. And so these uh, these little um, stems have to be replaced from time to time too. So I buy these little baggies. And then if you'll notice, these are metal that I prefer to use. These little cheapo ones over here have a plastic stem on them. But I prefer these metal ones. But then you sort of have this issue where you're screwing a metal stem onto a metal dart and it doesn't stay sort of like screwed on tightly. So I have to buy these little tiny O-rings. I don't know if you can see that. And I put the O-ring on the metal stem and then I screw it right onto the dart. You can see how, do you see how the dart has, a, or the stem has a little hole in there? You can stick the dart, another dart into the hole to unscrew that, like that, and then my little red stem here has a little tiny O-ring on it that I don't think you can see because we're focusing on the wrong things. I need a new camera person, obviously, but you can just screw the stem right back on. And that is also fun. You see, I have different colors of stems, so you can match up a good stem with a good flight. Um, let's see here. Do you clean your darts? No. Do you keep your darts in special boxes? I don't. I have a really cool gift that Genevieve got me that I, unfortunately I can't show you right here, but it hangs on the wall and it's a piece of wood that is slightly curved. It's actually um, wood that used to be part of a barrel, like an aged barrel. So it's got natural curve to it. And somebody on Etsy or something takes this wood and, and it's got two little pieces of metal where the barrel used to be and um, drills tiny holes in the top of it. And it hangs on the wall like this above my record player, sort of bending out a little bit. And I can put all of my darts in there and they look really kind of cool. Um, do you keep your darts in special boxes? Is there a particular dart flight shape that you have found works better for you personally more so than others? I don't know how many different flights are out there as far as shape are concerned, but I will show you this. I, when I was buying dart flights for the very first time, I asked the guy up in Edmonds, what's the difference between a shape? Notice how this one here is kind of wider and this one here is much narrower. And I said, what's the difference? And he was very dismissive about it. He said, you know, you got some dark people who come in here and they'll claim that the wider ones are better if you're throwing sort of a, a, a dart that arcs up and then back down, whereas a narrower one might be better if you throw it more directly at the board and it's less of an arc, um, which is how I have to throw darts because I have such a low ceiling in my basement. I can't throw it super high. However, after experimenting with these for a long time, I go with the wider dart and I um, just get whatever arc out of there that I can. Um, and uh, I just keep these on, on standby in case I ever want to revert to them. So I do believe there's a difference in um, shape and how the dart will fly through the air. Um, and for me right now, the wider, the better. I see he says here, pair, victor, standard, slim are the various kinds of... Uh, the various kinds of dart flights, but I don't know. I don't know which of these are that I'm using, but all right, there you go. Power out. Jeez, for a, for a topic that I was so excited about, I feel like I really just sort of petered out there a little bit, but uh, maybe I should have ended with the sharpening. I mean, that's always the best part. All right, I'm going to go sharpen my darts, guys. I hope you had um, a little bit of fun, or at least you were able to put on your headphones for a little bit and ignore your family while I blabbed at you about darts. And that's the important thing, ignoring your family. So, all right, have a great weekend. Don't forget, send me more questions for more Hey Dummies videos. They've been coming in, and they're really great. We could always use some more. Thank you, Andrew at tbtl.net. We will talk to you next week.